Now, you'd think uh, fear of sunburn wouldn't be a major problem with the summer weather we've had so far, but if you're a bald penguin, even this much sun isn't funny. Just have a look at this. Ralph from Marwell Zoo lost all his feathers in one day, so he's had this wetsuit specially adapted for him from one leg of a human wetsuit to prevent sunburn. Now, they say the other penguins were initially curious, but it wasn't long before they recognised and accepted Ralph again and he's now got a part in Baywatch, we think. <laughs> Let's get a look at the weather now with Thomas. Hi there. Hi, Emily. Just as well, actually, because we've got some lovely sunshine across the, the south of the UK today. I was talking about the sunshine. Beautiful sunrise. This is in uh, Somerset, Minehead. Thank you very much for that, David. Beautiful sunshine. And the sun's starting to rise later and later now. We're starting to notice those darker mornings. Let's have a look at the south of the UK. We'll talk about those big black cloud in a minute. But uh, for the south of the country, it really has been a nice start to the day. But clouds are increasing now across the Cornwall, Devon and into Somerset. So rather than sunny skies, he'll probably call it bright. Temperatures of around about 19 degrees. The best of the weather uh, today by far across the southern counties of England into the southeast and East Anglia. Here temperatures will be peaking at around about 25 Celsius. So enough about the good weather. This is where we have the heat relatively speaking and this is where we have the cool rainy weather in fact it's so wet across parts of western and southwestern scotland these low gray unpleasant skies there's a warning from the met office by the time this rain is through we would have seen something like 50 millimeters of rain that's two inches of rain not very pleasant at all and it'll continue to rain as we go through the course of the night and into the um, uh, morning hours now the south of the country will escape the rain for example places like portsmouth london and norwich will be dry first thing here temperatures of 16 degrees but it starts off on the cloudy side first thing there's some rain around the irish sea coast in scotland but as far as the west of the country is concerned first thing nine o'clock still cloudy one or two dribs and drabs of rain the rain getting into pembrokeshire as well in the clean peninsula and anglesey so not a great start to the day here the good news is that by this stage that rain would have gone through northern ireland and we're starting to see those clouds breaking up so in belfast nine o'clock could be some bright weather coming in still raining in scotland but not as heavy not as bad as it is right now also some rain around in Aberdeen, just about into Edinburgh too. Also Northumberland, Newcastle, down into the Lake District too. But as far as the North Midlands are concerned and East Anglia, still dry here. Although, as you can see, we've got those grey skies, a lot of shade on our map here. And temperatures first thing in London around about 16 degrees. Now the sun will come out tomorrow, but tomorrow overall, wherever you are across the country tomorrow, it will be generally... A little bit more cloudy and as a result it'll feel a little bit cooler even though the temperatures across the southeast will probably match those today at 20 in Newcastle and take a look at the difference in Glasgow more much better conditions now the second half of the weekend is looking half decent I think it'll be a relatively dry day 24 degrees in London a little bit cooler across the northern half of the UK and for Monday the outlook is it remains settled across the south of the UK just a few showers in Edinburgh and the initial indications for next week is that uh, things could be turning Quite a bit warmer. So that's it. Back to Emily. Don't believe it. Thomas, <laughs> thanks very much indeed.